I'm Andy Hughes, and you're watching Tiger Highlight Online. A rap and hip hop group made of CF alumni are becoming very famous. Here's the story by Bennett, Khalil, and Jared. We want school to step outside of the circle. Chase your dreams and don't ever let anyone tell you different. Look outside the box and become. Two former CFHS students, Ben Haggerty and Nate Buck, have started a hip hop group based out of Cedar Falls called School Life. Haggerty and Buck explain how they formed school life and their upcoming schedule. Me and Bai, we were we went to um, Hawkeye Community College for a while, and we sat in the back row of this class where we had a teacher that we didn't really like that much. So we just kind of talked some crap about her, and then found out that we both liked hip hop. And then, uh, yeah, like I had some beats and stuff, so I showed him, and we kind of rolled from there. I'll let him tell his side of the story. <laughs> This guy just kept bothering me for like a year <laughs> with these beats, and we would text, like, send messages to, to each other, like, over Facebook, like, for probably a year, and then we kind of like, oh, hey, we should probably try and actually get this to like going and get yeah. it together, and we finally formed our first song, maybe, probably about a year and a half ago. Outside of their work with Schooled, Haggerty and Buck both maintain outside jobs. Haggerty runs his own video production company, while Buck runs his own audio production company. We're like recording our uh, current album and we're going to release that in April and we're going to be pushing that really hard but yeah, we all want to take this to like the next level and make it a career. We all have we all have like side jobs right now and we're hoping in, hoping that this will like replace them. Replace them. Yeah, <laughs> like Nate's doing like DJing and he does recording and all that and buys working at a bank and I do like video stuff on the side and our other producer is not, he lives in Colorado. He's like owns this company that does like web design stuff and app development, development, is that what it is? Yeah. So that's, that's what Frisky does. So yeah. Yeah. We want to take this to the next level. Hey, hey. I do it for myself. I do it for my fam. One value that school shows is a strong sense of individuality and personality, as you can see in their music and in their lyrics. We, I guess we range like all over the place. We all come from different music backgrounds, but when it comes to it, we all have very similar tastes in music. And we're always looking at like new and upcoming artists too. Everyone that's always constantly putting music out, we like just thrive off of that. So it, it ranges from all over. I don't want to make a list of like everyone we love. Like it's ridiculous how much we listen like how many artists we listen to how many people we pay attention to but this new album's gonna like we're pulling from a lot of cool artists too so like we're we're like sampling we got a, a bunch of artists on there that we're like sampling music from and we're like pulling from and showing like our appreciation towards their music for production it's definitely a lot more edgier uh like the la like the last stuff was a lot of 90s kind of like down tempo um we're trying to bring that up and kind of get more with like more of a current sound while still incorporating the 90s feel and kind of keeping that, uh, tr you know, that similar sound to it as well. Um, yeah, it, it just, things are louder, I, I, I guess would be a good way to put it, <laughs> louder and bigger. Well, so it's been like really cool to hear on top of our music, a whole like room full of people just screaming like uh, above us. Like I'm like, how are they louder than us right now? <laughs> this is weird. So I guess that's kind of cool. Schooled also shows a high value with connecting with their fans. You can follow them on Facebook or Twitter or catch them after shows because they are more than willing to talk and get to know you. Reporting for the Tiger Highline Online with Coil Brown and Jared Hilton, I'm Bennett Ford. For spring sports beginning, here's a preview of men's tennis by Drew, Clint, Joey, and myself. 
With the weather progressively becoming nicer, tennis season is in full bore. Rex Jew speaks about the upcoming season. In the last couple of years, I've qualified for state, but <clears throat> haven't placed in the top four, which is my goal for this year. I'm thinking about playing college tennis, so the biggest thing would be to really get a state, and I guess junior year is probably prime time, you know, so I expect pretty good results because I've been playing pretty hard these last couple of years. So. I think we're going to do pretty well this year. We've had good practices and everyone's playing pretty well and we have our first meet coming up this saturday at the wahawk and i think we're gonna do pretty well there this has been joey dobson reporting for the tiger highline online how many digits of pi can you recite with pi day happening last week here's the story by richie luke terrell and jacob Pi Day has passed yet again here at Cedar Falls High School, and the leader of Pi Day, Mr. Strike, has two successors of the old Pi reciting record. We, we had several go over 100, uh, but we had two students, Sam Jamison went 314, and Jenna Veenstra went 315, 315 digits. Is that the highest you've ever gotten in your class? That is. Uh, the record was Tom Sniffen at 272. That was about two, three years ago. Uh, so this is the highest. So Jenna, what motivated you to learn all this about pie? Um, well, I've always liked pie, and I wanted to get the extra credit that my teacher offered. So Sam, what motivated you to learn all this about pie? Well, um, I have a teacher named Mr. Strike, and for those of you that know Mr. Strike, he's he's a motivator. You know, I want to make him proud. I memorized 314 digits of pie. Can you recite those for us? Sure. This is Richie, Luke, Terrell, and Jacob reporting for the Cedar Falls Tiger Highline Online. Do you want to teach your dog some new tricks? Well, check out Christina Brammer's podcast. you will need a hat, a clicker, some highlight tricks, and a dog. There are many different ways you can teach your dog how to bow. You can use shaping or you can simply capture the trick if your dog naturally does it. But for this video, I will be using luring. Luring is defined as using an enticing item to have a dog behave a certain way to then slowly connect that action with a cue. There are two main ways of teaching your dog to bow when using the method of luring. One way would be to simply lure your dog into a down, but reward them before they have had the chance to get all the way into position. This is often hard to time just right, however, and may often lead your dog into a great deal of confusion rather than true understanding. The other way of luring, which I will be using of Arlo, is done using a combination of quick timing and using your legs to help guide your dog into position. If your dog does not already know how to do this, simply take a treat and put it in between two of your fingers. Show your dog your hand with the treat and they will naturally touch at the hand trying to get the treat. Reward when they have done this. Gradually fade out the treat yet still reward whenever your dog touches your hand. Add in a cue and play around of different angles until your dog is fully comfortable with this. Position your legs as I have done with mine in this video. Bring your hand underneath and have your dog dip their head under your legs to touch your hand. Mark this behavior using either a clicker or saying a quick phrase such as yes. Bring your other hand with the tree up to reward them right away. The key with this is to reward fast enough to get them back into the standing position before they have had the chance to go into a full out down. Continue to repeat this until your dog understands to go underneath your legs with only their shoulders touching the ground. Yes, go to the water. Ready? Go, bow. Yes, good bow. Good bow, Arlo. What a good boy. Go, go bow. Go bow. Yes, good boy. Very good boy. Very good. Okay, go, bow. bow. Yes, good boy. Very good boy, Arlo.
Gradually bring your hand closer and closer towards the dog so that they do not have to reach quite as far underneath to touch your hand. Start lowering your legs little by little until they are completely flat on the ground. Eventually fade them completely out as seen here. Go back. Say your cue to bow once, and then once your dog leans down with their elbows touching the ground, continue to reward them for being in that position. Give them multiple treats over and over, gradually increasing the amount of time in the position. With this, you have not only rewarded for them getting into position, but for them staying in it as well. When fading out your hand, you gradually want to start adding in a hand signal instead of holding it stationary on the ground the entire time. Signal and say your cue. Then put your hand back near the ground as with the previous steps. In time, have just the signal and the verbal cue, and treat with your hand switching in between being on the ground and elsewhere. Eventually, you want your dog to be able to complete the trick by verbal cue and hand signal only. From there, it is all up to just practicing and building up in confidence with this trick. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, go back. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Okay, go back. Thank you.